One of the most crucial aspects in World War II was the employment and performance of newly created weaponry. Military tactics and intelligence services were important, but in the heat of combat, the quality and amount of weaponry were the most important. As a result, the world's most powerful countries were designing and manufacturing military systems and platforms on an unprecedented scale. Fighter aircraft were among the most formidable vehicles of the war produced. They proved to completely alter the battlefield. Although the fighters had been around for a while, they were nothing like as sophisticated as the revolutionary fighters deployed in the Second World War. Skilled pilots in these new aircraft could pose a significant threat to the whole opposing fleets. They not only changed the course of the war, but also became the legends of the aerial battle. Let's take a look at the 10 most proficient and successful World War II fighter aircraft. Number 10. Supermarine MK's 24 Spitfire. The Spitfire was the most strategically crucial as well as the most widely produced British single-seat fighter of the war. Between 1938 and 1948, around 20,351 units of the Spitfire were built. Apart from the insane manufacturing numbers, the aircraft received more versions than any previous fighter. By the conclusion of the war, the Spitfire had been constructed in over 20 fighter versions alone. It first flew on March 1935, powered by a 1,000 horsepower, 12-cylinder liquid-cooled Rolls-Royce PV-12 engine, later called the Merlin. Then in the summer of 1938, the delivery to active Royal Air Force, or RAF squadrons, of the UK had begun and the aircraft was used in the Battle of Britain. The Spitfire had a top speed of 360 miles per hour and a ceiling of 34,000 feet. It also had a stressed skin aluminum frame and an elegant elliptical wing with a narrow airfoil designed by R.J. Mitchell, which when combined with the Merlin's efficient two-stage supercharger, offered it a remarkable performance at high altitudes. The Spitfire fighter bomber variants even carried a 250-pound bomb beneath the fuselage, and a 250-pound bomb under each wing. After a long and successful career, the Spitfire was retired in 1952. Number 9. Soviet Yakovlev, Yak-3 The Soviet Yak-3 was the only Soviet fighter with a single engine and single seat during the Second World War. The fighter was designed by Yakovlev Design Bureau to be a tough, easy-to-maintain aircraft. However, the aircraft had two major drawbacks, which included short range and the glued-on plywood covering on top of the wing's tendency to pull away under high G-loading. The Yak-3 entered service in 1944, with a total of 4,848 units built. The first 197 Yak-3s were outfitted with a single 20mm SH-VAC cannon and a single 12.7mm UBS machine gun, with the following aircraft receiving a second UBS for a weight of fire to 6 pounds per second with high explosive ammunition. The Yak-3 was powered by VK-105 PF-2 V-12 liquid-cooled piston engine, producing 1,290 horsepower. It would reach a maximum speed of 401 miles per hour at a range of 405 miles, with a rate climb of 3,645 feet and service ceiling of 35,000 feet. Since 1991, Yakovlev has produced a number of Yak-3s for the fighter aircraft market using the original design and parts with the designation Yak-3M. Several of these are still in use today primarily in the United States, Germany, as well as Australia. Number 8. Republic P-47D Thunderbolt The Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, named after the legendary A-10 Thunderbolt, was the biggest, heaviest, and most costly fighter aircraft ever built. It was first manufactured by Republic Aviation in 1941 with a single piston engine. Based on the powerful Pratt & Whitney, 
R2800 double WASP engine, producing 2,430 horsepower, it proved to be very effective as a short to medium range escort fighter plane in high altitude air to air combat and when used as a fighter bomber, it proved especially adept at ground attack in both the European and Pacific theaters of World War II. The P-47D Thunderbolt had a range of 1,900 miles and a top speed of 433 miles per hour. Its cruising speed was 350 miles per hour and service ceiling was 42,000 feet. The fighter was armed with six or eight 50 caliber machine guns and either 10 rockets or 2,500 pounds of bombs. Before the manufacturing of the P-47D Thunderbolt was discontinued, there were a total of 15,660 units produced. Number 7. North American P-51D Mustang The P-51D, also called Mustang, was built by North American Aviation as a long-range fighter with bomber capability. More than 15,000 Mustangs were built, and the plane survived long enough to fight in the Korean War. The P-51D Mustang was one of the greatest fighters of World War II with excellent vision and extraordinary speed and range thanks to the low-drag laminar flow wing and effective low-drag engine cooling system. The initial Mustang was powered by a liquid-cooled inline Allison V1710 engine, allowing for a top speed of 437 miles per hour and a combat range of about 750 miles. Its operating range could even be increased to 1,375 miles by the addition of external top tanks. However, due to no effective high-altitude supercharger, the P-51 Mustang was limited to low-altitude operations below 15,000 feet only. The aircraft made its first flight in October 1940, went into production in May 1941, and first saw combat with the Royal Air Force in April 1942. They were normally armed with 250 caliber nose-mounted machine guns and 430 caliber wing-mounted machine guns, which were largely used by the Royal Air Force as the low-altitude fighters and long-range photo reconnaissance aircraft under the name F-6. While one type, the A-36A, was a dive bomber for the USAAF. Number 6. Mitsubishi A6M-0 the Mitsubishi A6M, also called Zero, was a single-seat, long-range Japanese fighter aircraft developed specifically for use on aircraft carriers during World War II. It was built by Mitsubishi Aircraft Company, a subsidiary of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, to be one of the most important Japanese planes and the first carrier-based fighter capable of defeating land-based enemies at the time. It was initially powered by a 1,020 horsepower Nakajima Sake radial air cooled engine with 14 cylinders, two staggered rows of seven. Later, its three blade constant speed propeller was powered by a 1,130 horsepower engine. It had a top speed of 350 miles per hour at nearly 20,000 feet, and it was equipped with two 7.7 millimeter machine guns and two 20mm cannons in its wings. It was also capable of carrying two 132-pound bombs beneath the wings. When it first debuted, the Zero could outmaneuver any aircraft it came across. Furthermore, its 156-gallon internal fuel tank was supplemented with a 94-gallon external tank that could be dropped when empty, allowing the Zero to fly considerably beyond its projected range. This aircraft was used by the Imperial Japanese Navy between 1939 and 1945. In total, about 11,000 Zero fighters were manufactured. During the latter months of the war, several Zeros were modified into kamikaze aircraft. Number 5. Messerschmitt BF-109K the BF-109K was the last in the series of the well-known German fighter BF-109 and the last to see active service. The majority of these aircraft 
which were the last BF-109 type, had ample time to participate in dogfights. The development and maintenance of the aircraft were costly and difficult after so many revisions and development of new variants. One fascinating fact about the K-4 variant, however, is that it was the fastest 109 of World War II. Utilizing MW-50 and maximum boost from Daimler-Benz DB605 DBDC engine, the BF-109K could attain a top speed of more than 440 miles per hour at an altitude of 24,600 feet. It was armed with a 30mm 108 motor cannon and two MG-151 cannons on the fuselage. Number 4. Lockheed P-38J Lightning The P-38 was used in three separate roles as a fighter, a fighter-bomber, and an aerial reconnaissance aircraft. When it was first introduced in 1940, the P-38 could rise to 3,300 feet in a single minute and reach 400 miles per hour. It could also carry a greater payload than the early B-17s and had a range of 1,150 miles. The Lightning has an unrivaled legacy as a World War II fighter. During the war, more than 10,000 P-38s were built with 18 different versions flying more than 130,000 missions in various locations across the world. It was armed with two 12mm MG-131 and three 20mm MG-151 guns. The P-38 pilots shot down more Japanese planes than any other fighter, and as a reconnaissance aircraft, they recorded 90% of the aerial footage captured over Europe. The fighter was decommissioned from the USAF in 1949. Number 3. Grumman F-8F Bearcat The F-8F Bearcat was a single-seat, single-engine fighter used by the U.S. Navy and deployed from aircraft carriers. Its reconstruction began in the middle of World War II, but the aircraft was not ready to fly until the end of the war. Therefore, because it was too late for World War II, the F-8F was deployed by the French in the French Vietnam War in 1953. In terms of speed, time to climb, rapid takeoff, and battle maneuverability, the F-8F outperformed all previous fighters. It was the most powerful single-engine propeller-driven aircraft ever built with a small airframe. First flown in 1944, the aircraft yielded a climb rate of 4,500 feet and a ceiling of 38,700 feet with a maximum speed of 424 miles per hour and cruise speed of 163 miles per hour. It was powered by a PNW R2800 34W engine with a slightly increased fuel capacity. In 1946, the fighter set a new record for the quickest climb, reaching 10,000 feet in 94 seconds. The Bearcat was armed with four Browning 12.7 mm cannons and could also carry two 1,000 pound explosives or two drop tanks. Number 2 Fock Wolf FW 190D9 the D-9 was one of several variants made for the FW-190 fighter. Although it flew just a few times, the specific variant was built for the operation against heavy bomber attacks. It was powered by a powerful inline, liquid-cooled Jumo 213 engine, producing 2,240 horsepower with a methanol water injection. Despite its rare look in the sky, the aircraft was quite powerful, with a top speed of 426 miles per hour, cruise speed of 280 miles per hour, and a range of up to 590 miles. Its service ceiling is an even 40,000 feet. It also had excellent defense and a lethal arsenal of weaponry. These included two 20mm MG-151 cannons in its wings and two 13mm MG-131 machine guns in the nose.
Number 1. Chance Vought F4U4 Corsair The American F4U4 Corsair, carrier-based fighter bomber developed and constructed by Chance Vought, was the most capable fighter of World War II. More than 12,500 Corsairs were built between 1942 and 1953. This aircraft was powered by Pratt & Whitney R2800 double WASP engine that produced up to 2,450 horsepower. As a result, the F4U could attain a top speed of 453 to 446 miles per hour at 26,200 feet with a cruising speed of 215 miles per hour and a service ceiling of 41,500 feet. The F4U Corsairs were the first American fighters to achieve 400 miles per hour and the first to feature a 2,000 horsepower engine. This fighter's maximum range was 1,560 miles, while its effective combat range was 900 miles. Beside its outstanding characteristics, the Corsair possessed excellent agility and lethal weaponry. It could carry 4,000-pound bombs or eight 5-inch aircraft rockets as a capable fighter bomber. It also had 650 caliber Browning machine guns and 479 caliber AN-M3 or 20mm cannons. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.